This is going to be another demonstration on how well the super stove lights in a breeze and we're going to show you how much wind it'll be able to tolerate. So we're going to we're going to put some fuel in it. We're using heat out of the yellow bottle. And you can see here the temperature is a little bit below 30 degrees out in the garage. We're gonna we're gonna light it up. We got a breeze blowing. We're gonna let that get started there a little bit. Put on a pot of water. Notice that when you when we put on a, a pot full of cold water, I don't know if you can see that, has no effect on the flame pattern. It does not affect it at all. Like the, the the white box stove, for instance, when you put a pot of cold water on it, it'll suck that flame down just as quick as can be. This is 100% better than the uh, other stoves on the market. I'm going to be over here with my transformer. I'm going to control the heat, not the heat, but I'm going to control the, control the airflow. And I'm going to kick it up a notch. <clears throat> it's like Emerald Lagasse. He likes to kick things up a notch. I'm kicking it up. We're going to get it into a gale force wind here and show you how it, how it reacts in a nice strong wind. Not too shabby. Super stove. By Zelf, bplight.com. Available at bplight.com and whiteblaze.net. Soon to be available on eBay. Watch for it. Going to have some good sales. Take care. Have a happy holiday.